couch Dogs need adolescents Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome installment in the never-ending fingerstyle rhythm pattern exercise video series all designed to make you a better fingerstyle player and overall musician. Every week we alternate between beginner, intermediate, and advanced fingerstyle lessons. This week it's time for another beginner lesson, and I have for you three awesome riffs that you can use and play and even improvise with. I'll show you later on in the lesson so you can uh, develop your skills and perfect them. Now, all three riffs that I'm gonna show you are based on two finger chord outlines okay two finger chord outlines some of them are actually full chords not chord outlines but you only use two fingers for each chord so this is a skill that's uh, very healthy to know um, you start with this the first exercise is pretty easy the second exercise is a bit a little bit more confusing I won't say it's difficult this is a beginner lesson after all but it's a bit more confusing and then the third exercise is actually a series of variations on the same lick so you can actually come up with your own variations of it later on now, the first uh, exercise is based on Metallica's Sanitarium it sounds like this At the end of the lesson, I, I will show you uh, how you can take this and even improvise on it and come up with your own sequence of chords. Uh, but this is the beginning. You start with uh, strings, um, your fingers on strings five and four on two and four. Two on the fifth string, four on the fourth. Now this, played by itself, is uh, B5. But when you play it with strings three and six, this becomes E minor add 9. You can also play the full chord, it sounds great. This is E minor add 9. So you start by playing strings 6, 5, 4, 3 with all four fingers. Okay, and then you play uh, the same thing but with your fingers one fret upwards. You play 0, 3, 5, 0 instead of 0, 2, 4, 0. Okay, this is C5, and it's actually C5 over E, C5 slash E. If you want to be technical, uh, this is an inversion of a C5 chord. Okay, so um, 2, 4, 3, 5. Now, when do you change the chord? You change it when you play the sixth string again. Okay, um, that way you keep the chord uh, ringing the longest. Okay, you take the fingers off and slide them just as you play the sixth ring again. Or you can slide them without taking them off and then... Then it sounds a bit sloppy because you can hear the notes change. You need that... That silence in the middle because uh, otherwise you get this okay um, while the note is playing and that's not the right expression of the riff okay but you do whatever feels right if the slide sounds better than to let it go and slide then by all means do it now the next chord is the same shape up two frets this time to five and seven so you play the same thing with zero five seven zero okay, and then it's 10 and 12. Okay? Just to exercise your uh, fret jumping skills as well. One fret, two frets, five frets. Okay? A bonus exercise. Okay? This is the riff. Um, then you jump back eight frets. So, one fret, two frets, five frets. Eight frets. Okay, practice that. Okay, now um, the variations you can use is to search for new chords. For example, four and six, or seven and nine, eight and ten, um, nine and eleven. See how that works and see how you can combine them. Okay. 
sounds weird at first, but then after a while you start connecting the dots and find some really interesting connections. I let you find them on your own instead of letting you know which ones sound good together. Um, that's actually a very individual thing. It's very subjective. So something that sounds awful to you might sound great to me and vice versa. So um, let's move on to the second riff. The second riff is this. Okay, this is taken from Steve Hackett's Tales of the Riverbank. Um, you play the E string, the E bass string, the sixth string as your bass note, your pedal note. Uh, a pedal note is a note that repeats itself throughout the chord changes and um, the harmonic changes if you want to get technical. Uh, it's the same thing here and you start with 8 and 9 on strings 2 and 4. I suggest you do it with uh, the second and third fingers. Okay, this is an outline of E minor. Okay, and you play strings 6, 4, 2, 4 using your thumb, 1st, 3rd, 1st fingers. Okay, then you do the same thing but 7 and 7 on the same two strings. Then with 4 and 4, and then with 5 and 5. Okay, so that's your exercise. And again, you make the chord change while you play the sixth string. Now, okay, and you can loop it around. Now, again, you can play two and two. You can play two and one. You can play ten and ten. 12 and 12. Um, again, up to you uh, what sounds good to you. Try to find new connections. Now the third exercise is actually four variations on A minor. Just four different ways to break a chord down. So uh, the four variations we're going to learn are these. Okay? And then I'll give you some more ideas. So um, you play strings 5 and 4, you put on A minor of course, and then you, uh, you play strings 5 then 4 with your thumb. Okay, your fingers uh, go back to their normal position of uh, using strings 1, 2 and 3. Okay, so you play strings 5 and 4 with your thumb, then you play 0, 1 on the second string. Then you play strings 5 and 4 again. Then you put your pinky on 3 on the 2nd string and you play strings 2 and 1. So you get this. Then you play strings 5 and 4 again. And then you hammer on 0 to 1 on the 2nd string. And then play the E string. And then you do the opposite. You play strings 5 and 4. Then you pull off from 1 to 0 on the 2nd string and then play the 3rd string. Okay? So it's... Okay? Up the chord, down the chord. Okay? So all four variations. you can come up with more exercises. You can hammer on one to three. You can pull it off. Okay, you can um, play both of them. One to three and then three to one. Okay, you can uh, harmonize it with the third string. Okay, by playing three and one on the second string and play the third string along with it. You can harmonize with the E string. Okay, 
you can harmonize with the whole chord, springs one, two, and three. Right? Each variation gives you a different expression, a different sound. So we'll continue this on the next beginner lesson. And in the meantime, you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I've got a ton of them, a ton of lessons already on the channel. So what have you got to lose? Just subscribe and join the Lick and Ref community. I upload a new lesson every few days and a full finger style arrangement every couple of weeks. So um, you can go download the tab from the website. The link is below in the description. And the tab is also for free. Everything on Lincoln Reference for free, the lessons, the tabs, um, my knowledge, everything here is for free, offered for you, um, for your guitar education. But if you want to give something back anyway, there's a large blue donation button right above the tab. You can't miss it, and everything goes right back into Lincoln Riff into making these lessons into your guitar education. And I thank you in advance for any donation you choose to make. So thank you very much. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next lesson. You have fun with this, and um, bye for now. Enjoy.